All right, so this is where we have Scorp, CGR, and Herc bands. All right, so Boss Island, Fury, we've got Apocalypse, Domino, Apaco, we've got Chavez, Diablo, uh, Ghost, Quicksilver, we've got Ghost, Fury, Cersei, we've got Diablo with the passive synergy, and Chavez, Korg, we've got Sorcerer Supreme and Diablo, Sasquatch, we've got Doom and S99, Noel, you've got Carl, um, and you could use Anti-Venom. Uh, and then Shocker, you can use Gallon. I bet that's even a spot Gore would work as well. One through three on the way out, Doom. Uh, you have Overseer, you have Ghost, you have S99, Path 1. Uh, Omega Sentinel, you've got Gallon and uh, Nebula. And then Carl, you've got Mr. Negative, S99, such. Uh, path 2, Apocalypse or Omega Red for Kingpin. And then Diablo, Nimrod, Omega Sentinel, Nebula. And then path three, uh, uh, Nimrod, you've got Claire and Nebula. And then Scroll, you've got Hulkling or Doom. Four through six on the way out, Rintra, you've got Doom, Mr. Negative Titania. On the way in, Void, you've got Overseer, probably your easiest nullify immune option. Mr. Negative probably works too. Um, could also go the skill route like Shang-Chi or Fury. Um, path four, uh, the entire thing can be She-Hulk or Overseer. Path five, um, either of the Magnetos for Thor and then Fury or any real skill champ for uh, Invisible Woman, actually really anyone. Uh, and then path six, whole thing can be taken with... Um, Ghost, or you can go with Infamous Doom or uh, Nimrod for Jubilee, and then use Human Torch for Wiccan. Seven through nine on the way out. Bishop, you got Infamous Doom. Can probably get away with Omega Sentinel as well. Slap on some Odin Prefights to help. On the way in, Scorp, you've got Ghost, you've got Apocalypse, Path 7, uh, Magneto, you could use. Omega Sentinel or Nimrod, or you could just use any cosmic option and then use Infamous Doom, Omega Sentinel, uh, Nimrod for uh, Havoc or Warlock. Path 8, um, Hulk or Herc, uh, you can use any of the Mystics. So Chavez, Diablo, Dragon Man, Tigra. And then Path 9, uh, you can probably Falcon the whole thing. Um, you can probably get away with Diablo for uh, Hulkling. Uh, and then use, or you could use Carl for the whole thing. Valkyrie is also an option. One through three on the way in, in section two, Infamous Doom, you've got Gallon or Hulkling, and just play no block with Hulkling. Maul, you've got Overseer, Quicksilver, Mr. Negative, Human Torch, Spidey Supreme, you've got Ant-Man, Human Torch, Ghost. One through three on the way out, Mephisto, you've got Human Torch with Nova Flame or... Uh, Apocalypse, Path 1, Warlock. I uh, can probably get away with Hulkling or Overseer. Yeah, Overseer is probably your best bet, actually, with Subdue. You also have Nebula. And then Gallon, you got Rintra or Wiccan or Tigra. Uh, path 2, Venom, really anyone. Mystic, Subdue is going to be your best. So Chavez, Diablo, and then Kitty, Omega Sentinel, or Nimrod. And then Path 3, Hitmonkey, really anyone. Uh, Omega Red Apocalypse, your easiest. Four through six on the way out, Chavez, you've got Doom or Quicksilver. Path four, Spot, Fury, or uh, Blade. Path five, Arcus, Doom, or, or sorry, not Doom, um, Diablo or Chavez, and then um, Killmonger, White Magneto pre-fight. And I think you can take that with Chavez. Diablo is an option. Omega Red's an option. Um, path six, Atuma, Apocalypse, or Omega Red. Seven through nine on the way out, Terax. You've got Carl Diablo. Path seven, Modok. Uh, you can go with Shang-Chi. You can go with Apocalypse. You can go with any skill option. And then Valkyrie, Omega Red, or Apocalypse. Path eight, Surfer, really anyone. Doom, Rintra, Wiccan. It's your mystic flex there. And then path nine, um, Tigra, Overseer is an option. Uh, can also go with uh, 
Human Torch, and then for Penny, uh, you've got Hulkling, can even go with Carl there. Uh, so that does it for defense, let's take a look at attack. All right, so War 10 is against HC Armageddon. Today I'll be taking in the squad, Chavez, Valkyrie, and Domino. I've got Path 5 in Section 1, Path 9 in Section 2, and a mini boss on Boss Island. So pretty fun war, Path 5 here starting out. We've got Chavez fights Arcus here on Ebb and Flow Knockdown without a White Magneto pre-fight. That makes it significantly easier. But here we're going to PS1. That way, whatever blocked hits we take... We can immediately nullify the Flourish buffs and his power gain buff um, with our first special one off of opening a dimension so that we can get the ball rolling on getting supercharged with Chavez. So there it is, only one blocked hit. I just decided to special attack right into it. Now here, we're just going to bait out heavies, go into a combo, go into the heavy, let that finish out so that we can start reversing power gain if we need to. Subdue is not there. It is fear of the void, or fear, eh. Uh, force of will so subdue actually will not place on this node so the only thing we've got is the passive fate seal from the special attack um, dealing with buffs and then we intercept here with a special two and we finish it so two supercharged special twos takes care of arcus no additional power gain we move on I did not realize how risky this fight was without a white Magneto pre-fight until I actually got into it and thought about it a little bit more. If I needed to wait out reverb because power gain was too high, I couldn't constantly parry to wait it out because um, that would just give Killmonger power and it's got heavy hitter, so I can't retaliate that either um, if I wanted to avoid parrying for an opening. Um, but luckily, we play it slow, we play it smart. Basically, all I did was focus on pushing him to special two, get him to throw special two, block the whole thing, I don't wanna accidentally eat it. And then made sure to throw special one whether Reaver was up or not. Um, and that's the basic concept of this fight. Uh, between baiting out special ones and throwing my own and then paying attention to where ebb and flow protection is up and getting rid of it. I and mean, that's, that's pretty much the fight. I do have one point in this fight where I get lucky and I'm pretty close to my own wall. He's at a special two and he decides to throw it instead of just heavy spamming me against the wall. So special one's coming out smoothly here. We're doing a great deal of damage without having to deal with any chip damage from reverb. Here I think is where it starts to get a little interesting and I get that hopeful moment, decide to parry to make some room and there it is, the special two against the wall. So perfect, kind of sweating that right there here we throw the special one even though ebb and flow knockdown is up but we get the critical bleed and it sticks um so yeah down goes killmonger you know pretty safe that was diablo's only fight this war or not diablo dominoes only fight this war and if i said diablo the whole time during that uh video or voiceover i'm sorry Chavez versus Chavez here. I was a little skeptical about this, but an alliance mate, Nah, has taken this many times, especially last season. I think he only did it once this season. I'd still got to say I'd prefer either Doom or Quicksilver here um, just because of the dimension and the power control, and you're going to see why. But with a White Magneto pre-fight, it's pretty safe. You could, if you wanted to, always let your heavies finish out so you have multiple negative zones up. That way, if she does start opening all these dimensions as a defender and starts spamming special one, you at least reverse it. Um, and if we get an annoying Chavez or Chavez uh, AI and she starts throwing heavy attacks from across the field, it's going to be a little hard to interrupt her to make sure that it's a, utop a utopian parallel and not the negative zone. So here she's playing nice, actually throwing special attacks immediately. We are supercharged gonna heal up a little bit here and I think this is where she decides heavy from downtown so there's a negative zone which is going to affect our power with our special one so we're not going to get as much as we normally do but the fight is pretty much over so at this point not to worry but if the fight had started off any different and she threw heavies from downtown it would have been annoying move on to path nine I'm going to consider this video Valkyrie's debut in war for me instead of the last one, because all we did was counter thing and never really get past ebb and flow knockdown. But here we are utilizing Valkyrie for her uh, damage through block. So hazard shift, she's not immune to bleed or shock. 
we are going to be focusing strictly on doing four hit combos into the opponent's block and then just nuking them down with a special two into their block. So we have a tactic defender here. And as you can see, she counters it really well. We're not taking any blocked hits, so there are no flourish buffs. However, if we do take any and our entire game plan is hidden to block, it just means that those flourish buffs are just going to disappear instantly after getting them. So we're bypassing hazard shift here. We're bypassing the global. We're just doing damage. I did a PS1 so that we could get to special two faster. And even with the PS1, it works out with pierce buffs that we're actually going to do a very good bit of damage. Here we go, three pierce buffs. We've got the instant bleed through Hulkling's block and he's just chipping away. He's not passive here though, which would have been nice. Would have sped this fight up a lot more, but now that we have the fury, we get a couple more hits and it takes off another big chunk of his health. And fight's pretty much over here. With Hulkling, I did invert the combo before throwing the special two so that we can get a little more fury from any future special twos but as you can see with these instant bleeds now that we have three pierce buffs hulkling is just he's done uh, as long as he starts playing passive and he gets a little aggressive here at the end throwing a couple heavies but he finally backs up and we finish the fight there with that combo so valkyrie still doing it pretty quick countering the node and the tactic with with ease we heal up, top off. We are going to use Chavez later, so we did decide to use a team potion there. And Thing now. So we are both countering Thing if we accidentally hit him and he goes unstoppable while he's over the 15 rock stacks because we have those pure buffs. But we're also countering Hazard Shift again. Now we don't get the benefit of the instant bleeds besides the fact that it'll remove some rock stacks once we get there. Um... But yeah, same thing here with Thing. Um, the only difference with Thing, and I would suggest this in War, if you're boosted the way I am, um, probably even if you're not boosted, don't invert the combo. If you start getting the uh, Bulwark buffs worked in with the Fury damage, it's going to be too much, and your special too, and sometimes your combos are going to start triggering protection. If you focus strictly on building the combo up and instead of instead of inverting it, your Fury will be tame enough to prevent that um, protection, even while boosted. So here I have 40% attack with the 30% and the 10. Here we are at a special two with three pierce buffs and we're not triggering protection. So he's passive. I saw that tell. They open their block, close it. We can immediately retaliate and go and chip away. And while we still have this Fury buff, we get a little bit more off. Perfect. We're at about a minute and only blocked hits and one special two, and he's pretty much down. So we just need him to get a bit more passive, probably one more combo into his block, and we are going to finish our Valkyrie War. It's gonna take just a little bit more. There we go, Ooh. and down goes thing. So Valkyrie debut, perfect. I love it, it was absolutely enjoyable. And then the last fight of this war is Chavez here taken Cersei on Conflictor. We've done this multiple times. We are taking this with a PS1 for the same reason we took Arcus with PS1. We have a white Magneto pre-fight. Even if we didn't, PS1 will take care of any flourish buffs we get early. I'm sticking to that heavy medium light in, or sorry, that medium light into heavy so that we don't give any unnecessary prowess throughout the fight. And as usual, Cersei's a bit slow with Chavez, just because we have to deal with so many buffs and Mystic Dispersion with my Masteries. Obviously, we can turn that off, and it'll be a little bit faster, honestly, but I'd rather take the benefit of Mystic Dispersion. I mean, we have an easy access supercharge there with the Special 3, and if we ever need to remove all these buffs so that we can get going, we can just throw Special 3 and Fate Seal her, so... And this is the fight. We are going to eat one Special 1, so... Again, a reason to stick to that medium or yeah, the medium light heavy and never give her any prowess. If you make a mistake like that, you don't have to deal with the extra special attack damage um, in case that buff gets through subdue. Throw the special two there. That was ill-timed. It's fine. Throw that special one because she had all those buffs. Get this special one out before we decide to throw special three here and be supercharged. And then we go in after this special three and finish up this fight pretty easily. So Chavez Wars, we got two more wars with her. 
being the monster that she is against this tactic. And man, has it been enjoyable. Probably the last special one. I'm gonna go in here with a combo and finish it. So that was the end of my war. Our battle group actually pulled two deaths to their one, so they donutted. Um, and we did a little bit worse than we have all season. But the entire alliance for the opponent donated. So, I mean, obviously the people who died for our five deaths feel bad, but I wouldn't against the, an opponent who played perfect. Um, the only way to beat this is obviously to die zero times compared to their zero. And, I mean, we've been averaging, or we've been landing anywhere from two to seven deaths all season. So it's hard to sit here and say, that you're upset about losing when the other opponent just played perfect. So hats off to Armageddon for pulling off a donut war. Um, we are still in Masters, and honestly, I think there's a very low chance we fall out, even if we lose the next two wars. But there are two wars left of the season. One win will solidify Masters without a doubt. Um, so yeah, so far on track for our goal. Even this war, dying five times, that's within our goal uh, as an alliance. So Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe, give it a like, and I will catch you guys at the next war.